Hi, welcome to Jesus Bar. Today we're gonna mix a Long Island Iced Town Hall Tea. So the Long Island Iced Town Hall Tea was developed by Jamal Robinson in 2012 in San Francisco, USA. And probably it's called like that because he worked in a bar or restaurant called Town Hall. I don't know where I found this recipe. It's crazy the amount of stuff we're gonna use. It's crazy the fact that they say it should be kind of okay tasting. So let's get down to mixing. So in our mixing glass, let's start with two dishes of Angostura. Then we go on with 15 milliliter of each of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. And we're gonna start with a limoncello, which is not from Italy, but it's from Hida Takayama. If you saw my episode with Mika, she is from Hida Takayama. In fact, this is her present. And uh, it's good. It's a really good limoncello. It's a bit different from what we have in Italy. It tastes a little bit sharper but in a good way it tastes a bit green like if they use a bit more green lemons but i think it's a good product it's a good balance of sweetness to tartness it has 30 percent abv so about right and uh, yeah i like this so and then we go on with uh, all the other things so amaro verna 50 milliliter dry curaçao also 50 milliliter cognac Remy Martin this no the soap <laughs> 50 milliliter white rum plantation free stores 50 milliliter gin have here this tankery bloomberry it was a limited edition but it's kind of Okay, nice, standard London dry gin, 47.3% ABV. And we finish with Rittenhouse Rye Whiskey, 50% ABV. Bottle in bond. Let's move back to our spirits. Let's get some ice. And let's give this bad boy a stir. Smells nice and weird. The limoncello comes up though. Let's prepare a nice rock of ice in our tumbler and let's strain the contents of our mixing glass. Let's finish it with some lemon peel. Let's place it here on the side. And there you go, a Long Island Ice Town Old Tea. Cheers. Smell nice. That's some lemon. And it tastes surprisingly nice. <laughs> Insane. I think every ingredient brings something to this cocktail. This limoncello is really strong. So that's the first thing that comes up. Also because it's combined with the lemon peel, which I expressed on top. But then you definitely add the Averna with the bitterness. You can feel the cognac, the gin, and probably everything else. The flavor is one, kind of like a balsamic candy, like a ricola, if you know, but lemon flavor. A cough drop, if you will, but nice, really nice, because it has more nuances, it has more uh, dark sugar flavors in it, more uh, oak, of course, like because many of these spirits are aged. Can definitely taste the gin, the Averna, and the limoncello, and the curaçao. Yeah, I don't think I can really distinguish the rum and the rye whiskey, but they're definitely there too. Angostura too, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's 
surprisingly good and I think it's a great thing to offer in a bar if you want to do a bit of show because it's gonna take forever to mix this thing but that's the point you offer to your client something that's you know look what I'm doing like I'm gonna put all this shit inside your glass and it's actually gonna taste good and people are gonna be like, oh it's gonna be so strong ooh and then they drink it and they're like oh it's so strong but it's actually good so you accomplish all your goals then your client is gonna order another one because it wasn't that strong it was right a good cocktail yeah not light but not overly strong too yeah probably we are in the range of a negroni as alcohol percentage maybe a bit more but it's a nice drink it's more like an after dinner thing it tastes more amaro-ish yeah like i said like balsamic candy but i guess you can have it before dinner too if you're in the mood yeah it's nice yeah, it's a nice bite and i like this limoncello it combines well because it's not soft it stands up so i hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe comment down below share with anybody you like and don't like steal yourself a long island kind of drink and hopefully i will see you next time Cheers. So about Long Island, sometimes people from Long Island get a bad rap. Somehow, I guess it's just because they have a thicker accent, but I think it's kind of cute. I like that. But the thing about Long Island that's actually really surprising to me, it's if you ever read The Power Broker, Robert Moses and the Fall of New York it seems like a heaven <laughs> so this uh, book is really about power and how power corrupt and it's a uh, Pulitzer Prize bestseller from the 70s it's a masterpiece and they are revisiting this on 99% Invisible a podcast which is great you should know about it if you don't, go and check it out because we have a lot of great stuff, especially about architecture and design, but everyday things too. And we are reading this book. And so I was like, I'm going to read it too. And uh, it's good. Sometimes it goes a bit too long. It's a bit like Lord of the Ringish in the way it describes things. And you sometimes you're wondering like, do we really need to know all that stuff about that particular location on Long Island? But I guess so. And uh, anyway, the thing that Robert Moses made in Long Island, they sound amazing. I want to go and see those parks on Fire Island. What's that? The 100,000 parking lot. <laughs> I, now, if I ever go back to New York, I really want to visit Long Island. I mean, the moral of this story is that actually that when things go bad, I guess, for Robert Moses and corruption and stuff, but the things he built, I really want to see it. How amazing were those parks? He was building an entertainment land out of Long Island. But now I really feel Long Island changed. It's not that wild place with fishermen anymore. And I really want to go there if I ever go back to New York because it sounds like uh, really interesting. I want to see. I want to see. Are those Park really that cool still? Or they went down? I don't know. I, I want to see. What was the concept? There are still so many things named after Robert Moses. This is Robert Moses Park. There are several. There is probably highways. Or parkways he was he was building parkways master tactician master law maker and never elected by the people yeah uh, anyway I'm uh, me fourth of the way through gotta get down to read more but I'm gonna read it I can make it